All right, so yeah, I'll do a little bit of a play a playthrough. So I'll do uh, the German turn uh, for turn one, and uh, yeah, I just finished up doing the Russians, and boy, already I'm like, okay, I've got a lot. it's been such a long time since I've played this game, and it's like all oh, the nuances are starting to click in, especially due to the fact with the two movement uh, potential of two movement um, phases for uh, for units, I can. I've got to be careful and I've been rather aggressive at this moment in time with um, the Russia, uh, the Russians and I also have to remind myself that I cannot retreat across a river and I popped myself into a precarious position so I have to be uh, rather careful. Um, uh, for example, I'm not even sure if the, you see what I mean? So I think I just may have screwed my cavalry there. Um, I'll take a look but if I'm pretty darn sure cavalry are not allowed to retreat across the river so I may have caused myself some grief there. Started cutting as much rail as possible like I've mentioned before uh, do, but with the, uh, the rules is I, I have to give up um, one movement point. I did the best I could. Uh, yet again rather aggressive. I'm just uh, trying to see what I can do here. Um, like I've moved the cavalry over to here just to try to cause some uh, enemy zone of control issues to slow down the Germans. That's the thing. I've got to realize with eight turns, uh, time kind of is almost on in my in my hands, in my favor or whatever for the Russians. However, the units are not very big. I can't move very fast. And if, like I said before, if the Germans are able to get around and start cutting off the line of supply, I'm in a bit. I'm in a whole heap of trouble. So we'll see what we uh, see how it goes. I'm going to um, see if there there's most likely will be some combat. But uh, here I wanted to quickly show you the the two different there you can see there's the two different uh, combat results tables for uh, the Germans and the Russians and away we go so yeah I've put in on there's a lot of rail cut lines here and remember the Germans can repair the their rail which they certainly are going to try to do because they have to open up some avenues um, and it's going to cause cause one movement point as well to do so. That being said, they've got a movement, uh, the Air Infantry has a movement of three, so not bad at all. Uh, I've got one uh, cavalry unit here, and we're going to start using it right off the bat as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but uh, if you remember, um, cavalry cannot, um, I can't repair rail with cavalry. But I would like to start getting around and cutting off their line of supply, for sure. Doesn't say anything about me not being allowed to go past the border as well. I don't remember... Um, um, in this game, uh, it, I don't remember it saying that the Germans are not allowed to go across, maybe in the campaign uh, one, but certainly not here. So I'm going to try to go up this way and we'll see. Remember, I, it's uh, potential of two uh, two movement phases if I don't do a combat, but I'm probably going to do a combat, or I could put things into position for the second combat phase and hopefully we'll see what, uh, what I can do here. All right, so I'm going to go here, so I've got a movement of four. That's one, two, three, four, and I think that's, uh, yeah, I'm all right with that. Okay, I'm going to put them, just put them sideways just in case if I forget. Okay, so let's start cutting off the lines of supply to these people. And remember, you're not allowed to, so I may have nailed this cavalry as well. See, it's going to be a bad day for the Russians, I think. That's good. I've got to... Uh, Learn, learn how to do things properly. All right, and they've cut the rail here. That's why the that infantry is frozen out in the open. I, I had to move them over to there. All right, and after this turn, I can start rolling for this cavalry to see if they can be uh, opened up. But let's start uh, cutting off some lines of supply or, or uh, causing some grief here. As far as I remember, I'm just going to make sure that um, I'm go back to the retreat bits for the the cavalry just to make sure I get it right. When cavalry is attacked by infantry units only, uh, they may choose to retreat one or two hexes before the combat is resolved. Uh, however, as far as I know, that still goes into this uh, into the aspect of um, when they get back into the retreat after combat. Well, it says units may be called on to retreat as a result of combat. Units must remain as a stack, must retreat towards their edge of the board, must avoid enemy zones of control unless enemy zone of control is occupied by a friendly unit and must not cross river hex sides. It's going to be interesting. So I think perhaps uh, that cavalry can retreat um, across the river because it would be before combat. As it says retreat after combat. This is an interesting one. Yeah, because it says 
attacking infantry and cavalry units, but then you see you're allowed to do um, but the attacking units are disrupted as if they had attacked normally. Attacking cavalry may also choose to retreat before cam combat using the same process as above. Okay. Well, that's the tr you know that it, like the other one is a forced retreat, I guess. But this is kind of also the same way. I'm trying to think of. Um, I'm going to play it um, since it doesn't seem to really say it. It says retreat after combat. That you have the issues of here. It says. Um, uh, Units are alert, you know, not they're not allowed to go into an enemy zone of control unless it's occupied by a friendly unit. So I think that's what I'm going to do. If uh, the cavalry are forced to do a combat uh, and have to retreat from combat and they have to go across the river, then no. But if they can jump across the river beforehand, fine. But I think this other infantry is in trouble. But I'm trying to freeze up um, those guys. But I think that's the way I'll play it. Okay. So, and... One, two, three, because I'm trying to freeze up. Remember, they can retreat one to two hexes, so I want to see if there's some way I can um, uh, get them to not, uh, not have that ability. I think he can still, I should have... Uh, Now you see why I don't play games very much with people. This is like a super simple game and I'm taking 300 years to make decisions. It's ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, all right. No, I feel so good for people that have had to actually play against me and, and didn't say too much like going, oh my God, Chris, can you just hurry up? Nope, I don't know how to do that. So we'll leave you there because I can't move from one enemy zone to an enemy another enemy zone to control anyways. Alright. But I would like to start opening up things. So um, one, two. Uh, hold on here. One, two. One, two. And let's see you there. How's that? One, two. I'll leave it there. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get this guy. That's for sure. And I can move you out, which I'm going to do. And I can rail you. So I'm going to use one movement point and go as much as I'm just going to check a look, check again for the. Um, and I'm not doing it right again, I said before. I'm supposed to go like sideways, at least to remind myself. I can't uh, do anything. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. All right, and I just want to make sure again for the Rail movement and one movement to point, uh, and then one movement to point to train. So if I go, I'll have to uh, stay in train, but that's not the end of the world because I can one movement point. And we'll go to here. When he stays in train, to have to, there actually are some in, uh, little train uh, markers here. So let's see if I can snag one. I'll find you. I think I used them all up for the uh, the um, rail cut. Yeah, it looks like I did. So I'll just uh, well, I know what we'll do. We'll just put a I'll put an up uh, under thing here to remind me. So that should tell me that he's entrained. All right. That should do it. And then the second movement phase will, uh, or the second combat phase, we'll try. We'll see if we can uh, nail nail these little buggers. All right. What now? What can I do? And we used up one rail. Remember, uh, the uh, Russians have five rail they can take in. All right. Remember, can't move from one enemy zone to another enemy zone to control. That's important here. All right. So I've got a three there. But I can move out and then back in kind of thing. I know it's ridiculous. 
that's the way it goes. Okay, so I'm going to hmm. I also want to start cutting off lines of lines of supply. I thought I said I was going to go back up there, and maybe I should. Okay, so I've got you across the river, and I can't go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Um, one movement point to entrain. Another one off. In I go. All right. Um, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Okay. All right. And what am I going to do with you guys? I think I want to get you on. Uh, Yep, I'm going to get you on here. I'll start doing using the garrison. There's one, two. And then um, I'm going to try and six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, let's, let's just play his little game. Why not? All right, so we'll uh, do this guy. He's going to auto, auto retreat, and I'm just going to retreat. Um, one back, I think. Makes sense. Okay, and these guys are disrupted. It's kind of like, remember, about uh, an attack, so they can't do anything next turn. But I can advance after combat, which I certainly will. Um, I'll, be, I'll advance with this other guy here. There. All right. That's okay. Now, let's try and see what we can do here with these... Uh, and I have to get get my mind around the fact that um, oh good you can see this uh, get my mind around the fact that it's a con it's a ratios based thing I'm, well I'm just, uh, playing the ratio based thing with my middle, my little game so it's not too bad okay so here goes the German uh, CRT so we've got um, sixteen twenty one to five so that's four to one odds as far as I know. And he's in the clear. So four to one odds and roll low. Roll low. Nope. <laughs> Six. Uh, atta um, attackers have to um, uh, retreat one square. Oh, F. And I think I'm not allowed to retreat across the river, which means those two guys got nailed. Oh my God, I'll have to remember these things, won't I? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. And he's disrupted. As far as I know. Uh, I'm not, I can't uh, retreat. That's it. Uh, there's no other way to go. Holy Jesus Christ. We're getting back into this again. As far as, like, A1. Let's take a look at what it means. Uh, A number, um, a is the number of uh, number of hexes to retreat. Um, and like I said, the but you can't retreat across the river. Oh my god, that's the worst possible thing that could have happened for the Germans. Those are the two elite units. I don't know if they have any other eights. Oh my god. <laughs> well, maybe the Russians did a good idea, and I'm, I'm not being a very smart cookie here. Oh no. So, so well, that's the way it goes. Uh, and then I said, yeah, I wanted to do a second movement thing. But oh my god, what a nightmare. What a flipping nightmare. So it's a 10, and I've got... 12, what are you, um, 18, 23, so there's another 4 to 1 odds, oh my god, <laughs> oh my god, a 1 though this time, so uh, d uh, defenders eliminated, alright, that sounds good to me, so finally something works, and uh, we get to advance after combat, and um, as far as I know, uh, a stack is allowed to advance after combat, which is exactly what we're going to do. So not too, too bad, I guess. 
But these guys are, I have to flip these over to remind me I'm not allowed to do anything with these guys because they performed a combat or did the advance after or whatever, which comes out to the same thing. So it has not been a good, this has not been good. Oh gosh. All right, so now we got into the second movement phase and I'll see if I can force, um, this guy cannot, I think he's, uh, yeah, so I've got him back here. Remember he's, um, uh, entrained and I'm going to uh, detrain which costs me one movement point and I'm then going to uh, uh, move them there and we'll so is that such a smart idea? Probably not Chris so me, well and staying in train though and getting someone to attack me is not a good idea either so I'm going to Detrain, it'll cost one point. And oh well, maybe that was not it just was not a very smart move. I'm not allowed to look at the stack. Uh shoots and ladders. So what I think I'll do just for now is I will freeze them with the calf. Okay, that's a good one. And I think I can keep these guys, if I put him here, well, let's not, let's just one thing at a time, Chris. So you, I want to make sure that this guy will be destroyed. As far as I know, I, I've got him. So he will try to auto retreat, but he can't because I've got you in enemy zones and control all the way across the board. Okay, so you're gone. So that's not too, too bad in the end of the universe. Was there anything else that I could do? Nope, that's it. Um, and then I, you know, flip these guys back to their original whatevers. And but that certainly was not. Uh, well, actually, I gotta get rid of these things. I've also been drinking way too much coffee. I do that every day, so that's for sure. All right. Well, hopefully you guys kind of got an idea of whatever. Maybe I'll keep you posted. Afterwards, we'll take a look and see how well, I think I did I want to do something there. No, not really not yet. Let's just um, No, I don't exactly just stay there boy if I got things to learn and then I'll move the turn track Over to there. And that's it. All right. Hope you're having fun. See ya